Voters in Cincinnati choose a new mayor today and a new city council, this time for a four-year term. They also consider a referendum to change the retirement system for city workers. And communities all over the tri-state consider school, police, and fire levies. Local 12 political analyst and host of Local 12 Newsmakers, Dan Hurley, is live at the Hamilton County Board of Elections with a look at today's turnout. Hi, Dan. Hi, Kit. Well, the issue at 4 o'clock on Election Day is always the same, turnout. How many people have come to the polls and who are they? I am joined this afternoon by Amy Searcy, who is the director of the Hamilton County Board of Elections. And Amy and the people here at the board have been watching this process all day. Amy, what can, I know it's anecdotal, but what can you tell us about turnout at this point? Well, actually, I can tell you quite a bit. I can tell you that not only because a lot of us here at the board have been out at the, at the polling locations in the precincts, but we also have been receiving information through our poll workers through a new texting program where they tell us which ballot stub number that they're on. So we have, you know, fairly decent numbers. At this point, we're in the mid-20s, uh, I would say, as far as turnout. Now, again, don't take that as being a discouraging number because the really heavy part of the voting day hasn't occurred yet, and that is after work until 7.30 p.m. It's a beautiful day. The weather's nice. It's a good day to vote in Hamilton County. So I would urge everyone who is listening to this today to please consider being sure to find out exactly what their correct polling location is for their precinct and to find the directions to get there and go there before na between now and 7.30 p.m. to cast the vote tonight. You know, this is an off-year election, uh, although we have a city council in Cincinnati, lots of city races all over the county, um, a mayoral race. So what, uh, what, do you th what were you hoping for in terms of turnout and particularly with early voting? It seemed that early voting was significantly down this year, Jeff Hirsch reported on this yesterday, from the last two years. Well, I, I will say this. I, I don't like the, the term off year because every time there's a candidate or an issue on the ballot, it is the most important ballot for that candidate or that issue. And it is a year that's correct. There's no president being elected or no governor, but there are a lot of really, really important races out there. I would suggest that one of the reasons that many voters choose to take the time out of their busy day to cast their ballot is because there's a statewide issue where there are okay. large statewide campaigns with large war chests and behind them. Encourage it. We don't have that now. Well, so. thank, thank you. And the point here is there's still time. The polls are open until 730. Still plenty of time to get out there and vote and drive up the percentage. So turnout is still important. The lower the turnout, the more your vote counts. Back to you, Kit. That's true. Thanks, Dan. Hey, there is no election today in Kentucky or Indiana. It's all in Ohio. At 4.30, Paula Toti looks at, takes a look at two renewal requests facing voters in Hamilton County. Polls close again, as Dan said, 7.30 this evening. Local 12 News and Local12.com are your comprehensive source for election coverage. And we'll be bringing you results as soon as they are available. We'll also have a complete wrap-up of the races tonight and hear from the winners and losers on Local 12 News at 11.